I would like to offer my sincere apology to both of you guys. Um, I'm deeply sorry for the harm, and <clears throat> I am responsible for infliction upon each of you. I'm praying that you guys, I'm praying that you guys both influence my apology and move forward um, with your emotional and spiritual healing. Again, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to judge cook. I apologize to this court and the community for my behavior I demonstrated on that terrible day. This is not who I am as a young and caring mother. <clears throat> I am a single mother raising two beautiful children that I love with all my heart. I was worried, stressed, and very concerned about my child. Upon being informed by the bus driver in the daycare, um, witnessing that things was going on with Major. Um, your Honor, my child Major suffered from autism spectrum disorder, and I was deeply distressed that this was happening on school property and nothing was being done about it. When I went to the school to talk to the principal, tempers flare and things got out of hand. This is an experience I have learned from and will not recur again. My emotional reaction for my family can sometimes be irrational. Once again, I apologize to the court and everyone. I'm sorry. My, um, the oath of my office and the law that I am uh, required to follow requires me to consider more serious and less serious factors, recidivism factors. And again, I think one of the most important parts of this case is sending out a message of punishment tempered with the responsibility you accepted while also sending a message to the community that if you assault individuals at an elementary school and follow it up with you know, insensitive comments, there's a price to pay. And I've thought long and hard about what that price is. I don't know. I'm sure everybody in this room has a different opinion on what that should be. But I've given it some thought, and I'm going to proceed accordingly. This court has considered the entire record, the oral statements presented, the pre-sentence report, and the overriding purposes and principles of family sentencing. Consider the seriousness and recidivism factors relevant to the offense and the offender, and the need for deterrence, incapacitation, rehabilitation, and restitution. The judgment of the court, sense of law, upon consideration of all factors that a community control sanction will adequately punish the offender, protect the public, and not demean the seriousness of the offense. It's therefore ordered to reserve 24 months of community control for any kind of adult probation department in the adult probation division. You will serve the first six months of your community control sanction at the Rain County Jail. I will consider two things for you. Number one, I will give you a report date. I'll give you two weeks to get your affairs in order, take care of your children, make arrangements with your family. I recognize that I was very clear at the time of your sentence that I could send you to prison or jail but I also recognize you probably hoped and were um, anticipating or hoping that you wouldn't have to serve jail. And for that reason, I'm going to give you an opportunity to get your affairs in order and give you some time to make arrangements because of your young children, especially your special needs child. I will give you a two-week report date, but you're going to do six months. Now, if you have a good uh, jail record and the experience is um, if I get positive reports, I will consider releasing you early after some period of time. I may not make you do the whole six months, but you're gonna go to jail for some period of time for what happened in this situation.